Hey what's up guys, so I wanted to make this quick video to address all the 1600 errors that people are getting when they jailbreak the new 3.1 firmware. So in my comments on Twitter I see that for the jailbreak works perfect for some people but for the most part people are coming up with an error and it always seems to be 1600 and 1604. Well to just put this out for there and to set the record, when I jailbreaked my iPhone 3G and also my girlfriend's iPod Touch, before putting the video up, as anyone should, before I tested it just to make sure just to make sure that it worked. And you can tell I'm jailbroken. I have the ish up there. I have Cydia there. And you can see there I am also on 3.1. So this video is to kind of give some tips to try, um, but just before you try any of these, I would pause the video and sync your iPod or iPhone just in case if anything should happen. So one thing you could try is putting your iPhone or iPod into DFE mode. Um, when you're doing the pawnage tool on Mac, you have to it basically walks you through the whole thing so that you can. Uh, restore your iPhone and um, this DFU mode is what you have to go through before. <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be like my fifth time trying to film this. So to officially put it in the DFU mode, the tips you want to follow is you're going to um, plug it in before you turn it off. So you're going to plug it in. So make sure it's plugged in and then what you're going to want to do is turn it off so hold the power button and turn it off so let it do its thing okay now once it's off then the following steps is like what you're going to want to do you're going to want to hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds after 10 seconds let go of the power button and only hold the home button So it's plugged in, turned off. And what you're going to do is hold the power and home button for 10 seconds. So 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi. Then let go of the power button and continue to hold the home button down. And you're going to do this until iTunes pops up with uh, you know, uh, has discovered an iPhone in recovery mode. And there it is. And then it says, you must restore this iPhone before it can be used as iTunes. So, what you can do is you can restore, hit OK, and then go ahead and do Shift, Restore, or I believe on a Mac it's called Option Restore and then from there you should be able to use the firmwares that I put in the other video which you can click here and uh, go ahead and restore with that firmware now say you did the a few mode you didn't mean to do that you screwed up the only thing you have to do is unplug your iPhone and then hold down the power button and the home button until your phone boots up and there's the Apple logo and then it will boot up just as normal and there it is, it's booted up just as normal and as you can still see I have all my same settings, applications, nothing screwed up. Now another thing you could try, this is re recovery mode, if you don't know what recovery mode is, it's a little bit different than um, DFU, but it kind of pops up as the same thing in iTunes. So for this what you need to do is turn off your um, phone, I believe it's the same or different. Well, either way, they call this recovery mode. So you're going to let it turn off. And then what you're going to do is, as you're holding the home button, you're going to plug in your dock connector. So hold the home button. One, two, three, four, five. And plug in. Plug it in. And that will come up. Continue to hold the home button. Don't let it go. And then you'll see that. And then in iTunes, you'll hear the bum bum sound if you're on Windows and the same thing comes up. iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this phone before you can use iTunes. So go ahead and hit OK and that's recovery mode. From there what you want to do is hit shift restore and see if that works for you. Say you screwed up again. Simply unplug it. 
and hold down the home and the power button until it boots up again. Bam, there you go. So other than that, I would just try messing with it if it still doesn't work for you, but all I needed to do was a shift restore. I didn't have to put it in DFU mode nor recover mode. For some it works, others it doesn't. They need to try stuff. Um, some of my viewers got working though. Um, if any of these works, DFU or recovery, please let me know as it could help me figure out the main problem. There seems to be no fix for this, but just basically messing around doing other uh, different settings. Um, so yeah, there's no, you know, oh, that didn't work, what's the real fix for it? There's no 1600 really error fix. It's either, you know, you just got to do these certain steps, mess around with it sort of thing. I mean, I mean, I don't mean like going and screwing up your phone, but something like that. So I hope this helps um, some of you guys. Let me know what happens. Please leave a comment saying it worked, it didn't work. I tried this and it worked. Um, anything can help, like a lot. Um, so please subscribe if you want to know when the 3GS jailbreak and the iPod Touch 2G and 3G comes out. Also follow me on Twitter. You can add reply me if you're still having trouble. I help everyone. I'm not, you know, I, I have so many uh, little um, viewers that I can help everyone that leaves a comment or something. So um, all the links to anything that is necessary is in front of you and in the sidebar as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.